Okay. Hello, YouTube. Let's take a spin with the wheeze. All right. This is take number 2,330,542 and a half. I'm trying it again. I'm doing well. I'm losing weight. I'm losing muscle mass in places I want to lose it and gaining where I want to be gaining and um, I'm slowly getting there in my third transition, which I have explained in other videos. Today I want to talk about prejudice. Prejudice is prejudice. If you think you are qualitatively different and better than somebody else, you're a bigot. And this is on both sides of the political spectrum. I've met people who have been Republicans all their lives, who are very nice and gentle and open people. And I have met people who are liberal, who stand up for liberal causes, who are very negative and unaccepting of people. So whatever side of the political spectrum you're on, you, you can be a bigot. And that goes doubly for people who think they are liberal and open and loving who, who invalidate other people because they don't have exactly the same experience in life that they had. And I'm talking about the twerps. Turfs, I think they're actually called, and I won't, I won't spell out uh, what the letters stand for, but it's basically women who think of themselves as feminists who, who say that trans people Trans women cannot be women because they did not grow up with, uh, you know, with periods and they did not grow up being treated the way girls are treated by men in this society and so on and so forth. Well, you know, we've had struggles of our own. And those of us who are able to transition at an early age, um, except for except for menstruation, you know, we experience all that too. Uh, so, you know, and what about, what about cis women who never are able to menstruate and, you know, um, know that they'll never be able to bear children that, you know, like my, my sister, who has adopted, I, because she's cut herself off from me, I, I don't know, and, and she wouldn't have discussed things with me anyway. I wouldn't know why she, she's barren. Uh, so she considers herself to be very much the woman, and everyone who knows her considers her to be very much the woman. Uh, you know, and, you know, the, the feminists from the 60s, some of them, Germaine Greer and, uh, and, uh, well, what's her name who founded Ms. Magazine? Or, I don't know why her name escapes me right now. They're on the side of the turfs, you know, um, because they define women very narrowly. But, you know, except for, you know, and, and at my age, I, I wouldn't be able to have children anyway. But I, as of uh, September 19th, 1977, I have been invaginated. So, you know, and I have some development here. And who knows, I might even lactate. Um, 
so I'm real it's taken me a long time to realize myself that I'm real but I'm real and I had to go out alone I didn't I didn't have the internet and YouTube and I did cut myself off from other trans people when I moved from California where I got the surgery back to Texas and well and for a short time I went to a clinic in Galveston where there are other trans women around but I decided I wanted to live a so-called normal life so I've been stealth for almost 40 years now uh, but I've had a life I've been able to have a job from which I've retired and I get a state pension and I get Social Security so I'm able to live from day to day although I have a lot of debt house payments and car payments and, and just other things but I have a good credit rating because I keep paying off my debts at more than the uh, minimum uh, but anyway but you know prejudice is prejudice I know people who just their whole lives are going to rallies and and you know getting themselves known standing up for certain causes and all and they're no more enlightened than than religious fanatics who uh, say that God hates gays and trans people and when there's nothing like that especially not in, in the New Testament and even in the Old Testament it's um, you know it's not exactly the Word of God it's it's a, it's a word of people in society that um, has said those things and trans people aren't even part of it because we're painted as gay uh, by the general public we they think we fall under that umbrella which is the problem I have with LGBT because the T is different than the LGB you can be transgender and be gay or you can be transgender and be straight but sexual orientation is a totally different thing than who you are who you are as a man or a woman and I, I just don't get why people so so much worry about other people's lives they have to go out in public and denounce people just for existing uh, I have prejudices I've not always gotten along with gay men because they felt threatened by my presence and I know this was a long time ago and things you know their attitudes have changed along with the public's attitudes but I you know I've been there and I you know I've, I've been discriminated against as a woman and I've I've been cornered and harassed sexually as a woman so I'm not completely you know I'm not completely from Mars here or Venus and you know these women are from Venus you know it's very hot there you wouldn't want to go there in the summertime anyway um, I'm going to wrap this up now I I might do my my next uh, ah, what the heck I'll just finish this up by saying uh, I, I'll just finish it here.
Goodbye, YouTube.